Hi boys and girls. So today we're starting a new unit, unit eight, greater numbers. And we're starting a new chapter, which is chapter 15. We're gonna be learning about numbers 10 to 20. All right, so we're gonna look at this page and I'm gonna read you a story. It's called Counting Our Way to Maine. And Maine is a state. And in this story, it's gonna help you to review counting to 20 and matching one to one. All right, so it's called Counting Our Way to Maine by Maggie Smith. For our trip to Maine this summer, we packed one baby, two dogs, and three bicycles. As we left the city behind us, we passed, what comes after three? Four taxi cabs and five smokestacks, like the smoke that comes out of different buildings, different factories. We had to stop to the bathroom. We had to stop for the bathroom six times. When we were halfway there, we stopped again and ate seven ice creams. Then we climbed into the car and drove over and around eight mountains. Before long, we had to stop again. Nine deer watched us. When we finally arrived at the cottage, there were 10 slugs waiting on the steps. During our vacation, we built 11 sand castles. We went down to the dock and saw 12 lobster pots and 13 boats. As the fog lifted, we spotted 14 buoys bobbing on the waves. As um, one hot day, we climbed a steep hill and filled 15 boxes with blueberries. And the next day we made 16 blueberry pies. We went into the woods early one morning and found 17 mushrooms. When we got back to the cottage, we counted 18 mosquito bites. For our cooking the last night, for our cookout the last night, we went to a nearby cove and dug 19 clams. That evening, as the tide crept in to say goodbye, we chased 20 fireflies. And the next morning, we let our fireflies go. And for our trip back home to the city, we packed one baby, two dogs, three bicycles, and then it starts counting again. So just a little story of counting from one to 20. All right, let's turn to page 283. We're gonna go over this page. So what do you see on this page? We see a beach scene, right? And we see a little girl who is collecting some shells and she has different groups of shells and there's different groups on this page. So we're gonna look at this page. Let's see, it says here, you can count 10 birds in this picture. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep, there's 10 birds. How many of other objects can you count? So what else is there on this page that we can count? Well, we can count this group of purple seashells. We can count this group of starfish. We can count the group of sandcastles and crabs as we're going over numbers 10 through 20. And we can even count these little hearts on her bucket and the dots on her shirt. So you can see how there's many different groups on this page. All right, let's turn the page. All right, so we're gonna look at this page and we're gonna be looking at different groups um, and groups that are fewer than 10 10 exactly, and more than 10. So 
we're gonna look at this one first. So remember, if you remember, if you recall, we went over 10 frames, right? So this is a 10 frame. When it's filled, it looks like this. We don't have to count it. We know that there are 10 inside that 10 frame. All right, so I want you to draw circles if you want, or you could draw something else that's fewer than 10. So if it's fewer than 10, you're not going to fill this whole thing. It has to be fewer than 10. And then here, there's already 10. And then I want you to, to um, show more than 10 with this 10 frame. Okay, so you're gonna draw, you could draw circles to fill the 10 frame, and then you have to draw more outside the 10 frame to show more than 10. So that's what we're gonna be going over in our lesson um, today and um, in our chapter. We're gonna be looking at groups of 10, and if the 10 frame is filled, we know that's 10, and then whatever's outside, we count after 10. All right, so when you're done with this page, take a picture of it and send it to me.